our job is to make it look as good as we can for the family members because it's the last impression that they'll have of the Air Force. We don't wear name tags when we go out there. It's the unnamed soldier. We're all equals. Right up. It's all about the person who died and served 20 plus years in the military. Honoring those who have served, that's our primary function. And within that title, I didn't learn so much from just doing the actual job and appreciation from the family that they uh, really appreciate what we do. Once you do the flag fold and then the family hear the 21 gun salute and the plan of taps. Been out here four years, I still get a lump, lump in my throat when I hear taps play. It's pretty hard sometimes when you're handing off the flags. They'll be crying and we've had hugs and they're always grateful. We always get thanks and it's an honorable job. Right when taps is being played and when you look into that person's eyes and present them with that flag, the next of kin, that right there is really a, the emotional point. That will have to be probably the most difficult time. That was the first act of duty funeral I've ever seen, and it was a little emotional, but in any end, you feel proud. I think it means a lot to them. We're probably going to be the last ones they're going to see. We're providing them their honors, their last salute for their time and service. It's just a very emotional ceremony.